welcome back. This week I am showing you all desserts in this video. I've made some really yummy desserts lately and I wanted to show them to you all in one video. These would all be perfect for any spring or summer gatherings. We have Mother's Day right around the corner. Picnics are coming up. I'm sure as the weather gets warmer and any of these recipes would be great. I'm going to show you these iced buttermilk cookies that were so delicious. I made some plain and some with sprinkles. I also have this triple berry delight. And the fun thing with this one, it is made with a pretzel crust. This was delicious. I'm also going to show you a chocolate tres leches cake. First time to ever make that. And it was a big hit. I'm ready to make that one again. And lastly, I have a banana lush with a chocolate graham cracker crust. If you think any of these sound good, you just stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make them. Okay, into my glass baking dish, I have my butter. I'm sticking that in the oven to melt it. And now I am preparing my pretzels by adding in the sugar. I have already kind of smashed those up. So you just want to smash them down. They don't all have to be pulverized. You can leave some bigger pieces in there if you want to. That's just preference. And even the amount or thickness of your crust, that's just kind of preference. Um, but I am following a recipe that I will link below um, for the pretzel crust. Now, we make delights often. That's something that we grew up having, like a cherry delight, strawberry delight, that kind of thing, which is basically a crust, a um, cream cheese, sort of whipped topping, middle, and then a fruit topping. So delicious. You can make them in a pie form. You can make them in a baking dish like this. They are so versatile. Well, I wanted to make this in the, I wanted to make a blueberry um, pretzel delight, but when I went to get my pie filling for the top, they didn't have any blueberries. So I went with the triple berry. So getting this crust all mixed together, it's the butter, the pretzels, the sugar, going to get it pressed down and get that back in the oven to bake for just a few minutes. And after it's cool, we put on our middle topping. Now for the middle layer, you need one block of softened cream cheese. Use whatever you want. I'm using the third less fat. You're going to add in one cup of granulated sugar and you're going to get that mixed really well. Once that is finished, you're going to add in an eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. Or if you want to make your own whip topping, you can, but you need about eight ounces or so of that. Now, as I mentioned before, be sure that that crust is completely cooled before you add on this middle layer. Once it is all smoothed on, you're going to just top it with whatever you want on the top, a pie filling, or um, there's probably other toppings out there, but I am using this Thank You brand. Uh, it's a berry medley, like a triple berry pie filling. Uh, like I said, there was no blueberry that day when I went to get this. So you just want to get this all evenly put over the top, spread nice and neat, and refrigerate this. And let me tell you, this is so refreshing, so delicious. I actually took this to church and I had so many comments on the pretzel crust because that's different. Um, I've never had it this way. I've never made it this way. Um, so Apparently others had never as well, and I got a lot of comments about the pretzel crust. It was really, really good. So I hope you enjoy this. If you make it, look below. I will have a recipe linked for you to follow. This is definitely one that you could make on repeat all spring and summer long. All right, this dessert is called Banana Lush. There are a lot of varieties to this type of recipe, but I'm showing you here the main ingredients that I've pulled out to work with. I am using a block of softened cream cheese. This time I am using powdered sugar, one cup, and then I am also going in with one eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. 
I'm going to get that all incorporated. Um, I, if you like a, a recipe similar to the one I just showed you that has that cream cheese layer, you're going to love this one as well. I recently, well, it's been a little while, but there is a bakery near us, and I stopped in for some donuts, and they had all kinds of great things in their case, and one thing that I bought was a slice of their banana lush. It was so delicious. I've wanted to make it myself since then, so I'm just now getting around to it. But So this is sort of my version of that. I am also using instead of a traditional graham cracker crust, I'm using chocolate. I had some chocolate graham crackers and I knew that pairing would be delicious. Really, a chocolate crust would be great with anything, um, any type of recipe like this, I think. But similar to the last recipe, you're gonna go in with your graham crackers, your butter, and your sugar. Now, my husband really likes a thick graham cracker crust on a dessert like this. So I added a little bit extra than what the recipe, well, for a recipe for a graham cracker crust, I added a little extra. And so I probably should have added a little bit more butter. I didn't, but it was delicious nonetheless. But you just want to do the crust the same way, get it all mixed together, bake it in the oven for a few minutes, let it completely cool before you add your next layers. So I have put on top my cream cheese mixture and this takes a pudding mixture. So two boxes, the small boxes of vanilla pudding, and you just follow the directions to make a pie. So it uses a little less milk than traditional because you want it to be a little thicker so it sets up. So that's what I did here. I did not have any regular milk, so I was using the oat milk and it worked just fine. It definitely kind of made the pudding um, an interesting color, but it worked just fine and it tasted just fine. I was just working with what I had because I decided to make this sort of unplanned. Once the pudding layer was on, I just went in with a whole lot of bananas. Again, wanted to use all the bananas that I had on hand that needed to be used anyway. So a good, nice layer of bananas. Now, like I said, I'm following a re I followed a recipe to make the crust because I couldn't remember exactly the right ratios for that. But the rest of it, I'm just kind of making up. I looked at a few recipes for Banana Lush and just kind of did my own thing after that. But look below, I'll link a couple of recipes, at least one, for you down there. You just finish this all off with some more whipped topping on the top and look at these layers, your graham cracker crust, your cream cheese, your pudding, your bananas, and your whipped cream topping. This one is an over the top, delicious dessert. I hope you really enjoy it if you make it. Now, how about one for all you chocolate lovers? This is a chocolate tres leches cake. Wow, it was so good. It starts off with just a chocolate box cake mix. Pretty sure you could use whatever chocolate cake mix you want and you bake it according to the box directions. You're gonna go in with a can of sweetened condensed milk and a can of evaporated milk. You're also using some regular milk. Now, tres leches translates to three milk. Um, it's a cake with three different kinds of milk. So you can see here, we're getting these all mixed up together and added in, and it's a poke cake in essence. So you're gonna basically, after you get this mixed, poke holes all in that cake, and this is gonna get poured throughout. Now I have to admit, I was thinking, oh my goodness, this is a lot of liquid. How's this gonna work out? I'll tell you how it works out. It works out fabulously. It is so, so good. It's definitely a very moist cake, obviously, but it is perfect. And to top this thing off, what would we do without good old whipped topping? So, container whipped topping, eight ounce, and the recipe called for like chocolate syrup. Well, I didn't have any. And I'm thinking, hmm, we're probably gonna get a pretty similar effect 
with good old Nestle Quick, which I usually always have. So the Nestle Quick powder, that is what I use to make this Cool Whip chocolate. So I just sprinkled in, like I said, I'm just taking a guess on this because this is not what the recipe called for, but I just sprinkled in some, stirred it around, and I was like, no, it's not chocolatey enough. We need a little bit more. So I poured in some more. I did not measure this. So if you make this cake um, and you want to use Nestle Quick Powder, if that's what you have, then just measure with your heart until you get the right color. Of course, you can do a little taste test and see if it tastes right. And um, it kind of darkened up after it set, but just makes a little nice, you know, chocolatey co color. And then, of course, you just cover the whole top of this cake with this icing. dessert really exceeded my expectations. I think it would be so delicious on a hot summer day. Very refreshing. Definitely give this one a try. And the last recipe I'm going to share with you today is for these buttermilk cookies that were really, really delicious. They take the standard ingredients that you pretty much have in your kitchen probably all the time and then some buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, of course, you can make buttermilk by adding in a little bit of vinegar to milk or a little bit of lemon juice. But I actually had some buttermilk that I wanted to use. So that's kind of why I, I knew uh, that I was gonna make something with buttermilk. And I saw this uh, cookie recipe on Jess and the Boys channel. If you haven't checked her out, be sure and go and check her out. I will leave her video below but she shared this cookie recipe and said they really enjoyed it and she kind of compared these cookies to the loft house cookies that you buy um, at any grocery store it's got the icing on it and I have to agree with her they do have a similar flavor but so easy to make like I said it's just a normal ingredients flour butter sugar eggs vanilla that type of thing um, so you just make up your dough you refrigerate it to let it chill a little bit get your cookies baked in the oven and put your icing on i mean it's just a an easy cookie recipe but it really does have a similar taste to those loft house cookies so if you like those you would probably like this one what i really enjoyed about these is just how um, soft and tender they were really really good the icing i really enjoyed that on the top this was just a winter batch of cookies now this does make a lot i will tell you that so if you want to cut the recipe down but i wanted to make a lot because i was going to make these to have on family night plus i was making these to share with a few friends so i was able to really have a lot of cookies to meet all the needs that i had when i was baking these it worked out great so be sure and check down below for the link for these cookies and i'm going to also have the link to the channel jess and the boys be sure and go and check her out as well i ended up making these some with just icing and then some with sprinkles because i had these uh, Easter sprinkles this was around the time that I made them and they were just so pretty and I wanted to definitely add some of those for the icing I used I did not follow the recipe I just used heavy cream and powdered sugar and I just mixed it up until it was the consistency I wanted and of course the cookies were cool when I put this icing on you just want to go real gently like I said these are a really tender and soft cookie I hope you have gotten some ideas and inspiration from these four delicious dessert recipes that I've showed you today. I have really enjoyed making these and they were all winners in our opinion. We love them all. So if there's one that you think you may want to try, leave me a comment down below. Let me know about it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.